Downtown Fort Worth tonight to deliver a message. These demonstrators you see on screen are asking city leaders to join a lawsuit that Dallas, Houston, and a number of other Texas cities have already filed all over the Sanctuary Cities bill. Ken Molestina live tonight at City Hall where the march came to an end. Ken? Yeah, that's right, Doug. You know, they had this march and the rally just before the city council meeting tonight. There was nothing on the agenda tonight to take a vote on this uh, tonight. But, however, these demonstrators had a very energized message for city leaders. Chanting and marching on downtown Fort Worth streets. What a win! These demonstrators choosing to deliver a message that's just as loud as their drumbeat. The state made a big mistake. The city's got to come in there and join the lawsuit. SB 4 goes into effect September 1st. It will allow police to question a person's immigration status during routine police contact. So far, Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, and Austin have joined the lawsuit against the legislation. A handful of Fort Worth council members have sided with the protesters, but not all, including Mayor Betsy Price. We believe that all people are equal, and we stand with immigrant families in Tarrant County. Don't pass this law. It's very discriminating for us. We don't want our families to be separate. Once the demonstrators made it to City Hall, they held a rally outside and then filled the council chambers. Build that wall. Meanwhile, a few counter demonstrators like Dirk Thomas also used this opportunity to share their thoughts. It's about the laws and protecting the people. He wants to make sure these protests don't overturn what has already been passed as law. Not in my country, not in my county, not in my state, and for sure not in the city of Fort Worth. And earlier today, Fort Worth police officials, they also participated in a briefing with city leaders. They told them that they fear SB4 might create a climate of fear where uh, they can't or they won't be able to count on cooperation from the community if this does, in fact, uh, go into play here in Fort Worth. We're live outside City Hall. Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News. All right.